Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, we finally... <laughs> I was gonna say we finally raided the camp, but we finally got laid. I'll admit it. That was the goal all along. Promise. Um, <laughs> uh, but we have hit a little break in the story. So for this episode, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to kind of just talk to all of our party members to see where they're at right now. I know he's going to be fine about it, but <laughs> Gail might not be, and Lizelle's glitched, so let's start with her, actually. Gail is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Uh, you look unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts? I expect I am your first. <laughs> ah, no, I can't say that. I, uh, I actually just had my first. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen your kind until my capture. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. <laughs> You're one to talk. Okay. Uh, come on now. Isn't that large? It, it's pretty big compared to, like, everyone else's. A fur bust of You know, that's kind of how I feel inside. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined. Dignified. My disciplined nose. <sighs> My past is mystery, mystery to me. Could the parasite have caused that? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. What do you know about mindfulers? I understand mind much beyond your comprehension. More okay. to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Uh, do you know what happens if we don't find yes, a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Okay, then we've heard all that before. Hallucinate. Your hair falls out. The fact that she doesn't have anything orifice. to say about any of the stuff form. that just happened. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great kind of or alludes to the whole to glitched thing. New flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Sorry to talk about your over your graphic bullshit. <laughs> Try to suppress your rule. Uh, how are you so because calm? I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This is yes, good news. If you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Okay. We know you're not gonna join me. Hey, Gail. As long as you don't ask me for more crack cocaine, I can talk to you. How can I help? Uh, I think I have an artifact. Oh, no, that's, uh... That protocol of yours, why make it so difficult? Instructions were easy enough, weren't they? It's no. Slightly elaborate. Like I said, I'm dangerous even in death. I'm merely trying to protect those around me. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly, if highly combustible, magma method tends to make for a more compelling case. If nothing else, I'm sure I piqued your curiosity. Um, I was wondering that condition. Why does it require magic items? Think of it as 
Tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Like I said, I'm dangerous even in death. I'm merely trying to protect those around me. <laughs> okay. Um, never realized it was so easy to cast magic, even though I'm a paladin I and I do it all the time. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Of course, as a warlock, your patron endows you with many such powers, otherwise oh, unattainable. Oh, okay. I do hope you cherish that gift. Uh, what do you make of having a vampire we in your camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Yeah, at least he doesn't kill us and we die. Uh, my memories... Before the novel, I shot in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seromorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If seromorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful. Still a win in my book. True. Uh, I have violent thoughts, <laughs> depraved thoughts. Ooh, should I tell him about my dark urge? Yeah. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bore the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. First edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. Um. Okay. Simple and easy. Nothing to say about that there. Maybe they don't actually care. <laughs> okay, weird pathfinding. Shut up, heart. So, Gail just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Why were you in pain before? On my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Um. So you knew more than you were letting on before. I hope you'll be honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Uh, why would Shar subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Hmm. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. Perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's just a pinched Perhaps nerve. It's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Just cut your hand off. I mean, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> How do you manage living with it's such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Okay. 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, the artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Curious that you just happen to have the thing that can protect us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's Rip. all I know. That's all I need to know. Okay, well, I kind of want it, so... <laughs> I could go all this trouble and not understand why. Blind duty sto spoken like a true pawn. Uh, admirable conviction. Uh, yeah, I prefer to know what I'm getting That's into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. Well, I've got something. How could you go through all the trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Oh, that's right. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Okay. Talk to me about I'm Shah sure worship. You do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Persuasion, eh? Uh, I have no problems with Char Westerbers. If that's what concerns you, you should trust me. <laughs> no, I got no problem with you. Five difficulty class. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of <gasps> Oh my god! Mistress of the night and lady of loss. <laughs> I didn't have it well. I assume well. you've heard of her? Uh, remind me. My lady Shah is the night singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear beyond loss in darkness we do not hide we act pain hope the promise of better days i wonder if there's a way to fuck up her heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts like fuck up her we mission so hard that she doesn't get her memories back and she's just fucked naked. beyond the vanities of mortals sounds daunting don't think it's for me how exactly do sharp worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's Sounds a lot more suffering. noble than the way Death, I thought. Even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I'd be lying if I said that didn't sound convincing. You should tell me more sometime. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You've a habit of saying all the right things. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. Maybe both, knowing myself. But yes, once we've saved ourselves, we can talk more on this. Okay. I yearn to kill. <laughs> Uh, my memories are all gone as the pad tadpole trying to trips on me. Memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Hmm. I yearn to kill. I only feel like myself when I'm killing. You're hardly alone. Bloodletting is quite popular of late. Though... Your twinge of conscience sets you apart from the brigands, monsters, and kill happy fiends of the world. Whatever you think may be compelling you, you may have greater ability to resist it than you realize. 
Oh, I don't want to, Everyone though. Everyone has unseemly thoughts. Being able to quieten them is what sets us apart from the beasts. Huh. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Uh, what drew you to she Shadow Worship? when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me. It's funny that she Person has these memories, though. Loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Tell me something about yourself besides Char, besides Tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Bitch, you can't swim? <laughs> uh, You'll have to point out some night orchids next time we see them. It's a deal. Anything else you'd care to no, share? I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Uh... What do you think of all that happened to all us so far? Happened. You have a talent for understatement, you know that? Specifics, please. Me getting laid. What? Just end conversation? Lady of sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? Okay, there we go. Must have thoughts about our little stowaways. What little stowaways? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do. Oh, so let's do the it. tadpoles. Find okay. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Okay. Personally, okay. I think we should go to Moonrise Towers. From what Minthara said, that sounds like where we'll find answers. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Uh, what will you do if you actually manage to remove the tadpole? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get if we all get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Someone a lover? <laughs> Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. How am I holding up to your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Baby, ain't nobody like me. Uh, what do you think about what happened to the Druid's Globe? What's there to think about? Goblins spilled blood, but we survived. That's all that matters. Damn straight. God, she is really my favorite right now. <laughs> I uh, can't help but feel I'm gonna miss a chance to connect. Truly connect. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Oh, yeah? Just like that? Lead the way. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Damn. Some quiet night <laughs> when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Oh, okay. Uh, we should journey separately, though. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Astarian, my boy. What's good, homie? I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. <laughs> I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. I just <laughs> talked to him. He was very vague. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. Yeah, true. That's gold he's taken out of our pockets. Maybe we should kill him. No, no, we can't. That's right. He'll fucking... 
kill us all or whatever. Tell me about yourself. To tell? I was sired by a vampire named Cazador. Everything before Cazador. that so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um, I'd rather not reflect on it. Okay. You must remember your life before that. I was a magistrate, working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate. Imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. You were the DA. I can't remember <laughs> much, truth be told. Centuries of torment will do that to you. Centuries? Oof. How were you turned? I was attacked. A gang of vagrants, a tribe of wandering gur, took issue with a ruling I'd made. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. Huh. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. Tell me about your Why history. Do you insist on exhuming the past. Okay, calm slave. down. <laughs> a vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. That's the spirit. How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Huh. So if they bite you, you bite them? <laughs> yes and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. By force, though? Maybe that's your story arc? <laughs> How vampires couldn't walk into homes without an invitation. I can't. And yet I cross the threshold like moonlight through leaves. This worm is a powerful little beast, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, that's what worries me. <laughs> Don't be so glum. Look at the power it's bringing us. I can walk in sunlight, trespass upon any home, manipulate minds. There isn't another vampire in the realms like me. Granted, the looming doom is an issue, but why not enjoy the benefits while we can? Uh, what do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Drow, mind flayers, death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers if we can convince the right people to talk it's interesting that he's like still doesn't want to die because a lot of times in in writing and everything in media they have that immortal character who's just itching to die they're just like i'm sick of living i've lived hundreds of thousands of lifetimes just fucking kill me and he was just like hell no <laughs> let me live uh okay cool i think that's it oh wait there's one more there he is oh. scratch his tail wags enthusiastically oh pet him oh what a good episode scratch his tongue lolls out happily his tail wagging even faster good boy okay go away before I kill you, please do not kill him. I will resist every urge in the book to not fucking kill the dog. Ah, uh, okay. Where the fuck were we, actually? I don't even remember. Were we... Oh, Astarian wants to talk now. 
You know, if that parasite isn't to your taste, I'd be happy to consume it in your stead. I don't relish the thought, but if you're going to just leave it sitting in your pack, well, one of us should try it. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm surprised you. I didn't think you'd be interested in a slimy tadpole. Oh, I have my reservations, no question. First of all, it looks disgusting. Second, there's a non zero chance that it'll turn me into a purple, glistening monster. But if it doesn't, who knows what kind of power we could unlock? And power is always worth a little risk. Sure, you can have it. Excellent. I'll have a rummage around and help myself in my own good time. Thank you. Your generosity is appreciated. Interesting. Does he get new abilities or something from that? Now, hold on. Oh, I have two. You may have both. Also, where are the other ones? have that one too you idiot you dummy you're gonna get so hurty spiders liar eh. it's uniquely named robe of summer I am so stupid I just read that so hard the first time on antidotes Okay. All this shit in my inventory I totally forgot about. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Alright, well let's get going out of here. I don't think there's anything here left for us to do. Yeah, the traders are gone. I think this is just... We've already looted the place fully. I think this is just a matter of we're done here. Never mind. We didn't loot the place fully. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Some rags. Nah. Okay. Barrel. Barrel. Great. Great. Barrel. I guess I didn't uh, check out all this stuff up here, right? I guess there was a little bit more to the camp that I could have done. All these fucking little things. Ah, there's some more oil barrels under the ground. I don't know if I saw those last time. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, water. Some eggs. Rotten eggs. Did I take all this stuff? No, I did not. Should I, though? I think I should. What's my weight looking like? Eh, I'll put it on Gale. Hey, Gale. Can you just start taking this shit? In for a surprise. Oh, an orange. Oh, potato. Bunch of little food here. Get that flute. Weird way of getting that flute, but okay, I'm not gonna judge it. I think that's it, dude. I think we are officially done with the grove. Um, I think we still have Auntie Ethel to deal with, but I think that's about all I know about. Was that? Oh, yeah, that's the... Okay. It's a little pathway back there. I did this. Yeah, I still have a ton to look at down here. 
So I think that's what we're gonna do next episode. Is we're gonna go down into the swamps again. Take a look around there. I do kind of wanna... I wanna just get rid of this fog of war. And then I still have this up here. The Blade of the Frontiers is gone, I see. Very funny. Because he is gone. But next time... We're gonna go after Auntie Ethel, because we are... And these things have stayed interesting. Level 4 now. So she shouldn't be as difficult, I say, as I die horribly. Alright, I'm calling it there. I'll see you in the next one.